It was one of Britain's worst maritime disasters. The sinking of the Isle Air saw the loss of 200 men as they returned home to the Western Isles after four years fighting in the First World War. As the centenary approaches on January the 1st, many events have been organised to commemorate the disaster. In the first of two special reports, Nicola McCallie looks back at the long shadow it has cast over the islands in the subsequent years. When the big seas, when I see them coming, rolling in, you know, I put my face right like that, 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 that and closing my eyes and sticking to the wires. That was to keep me from being choked, you know. It should have been a joyous homecoming. More than 280 men aboard the Isle Air were looking forward to spending New Year's Day with their families after four years of war. But at the entrance to Stornoway Harbour, tragedy struck. In poor visibility and wild seas, the yacht collided with a notorious rocky outcrop known as the Beasts of Holum. 201 men died in the icy waters of the Minch. One of the few survivors, Donald Morrison, clung to the ship's mast for eight hours before being saved. He said that the eight hours he was in the mast was, he felt it just as long as the rest of his life. Did he think about it all the time? He says, there's not a day that I don't think about that. To mark the centenary, local artist Margaret Ferguson has painted 100 portraits of the men who lost their lives. Her great uncle, Alexander Mackenzie, was among those who perished. Men were found with toys scattered around on the beach over at Sandwick. And some men were found with gifts. And I know of at least one boy who was found with an engagement ring in his pocket. There's barely a corner of the island that was untouched by the Isle Air disaster. Here in the east, in the village of Sheshadar, 80 men went away to fight in the Great War. Ten of them were returning home on the Isle Air. None of those ten survived. The only mention I ever heard was my auntie Nancy, who was six at the time. She remembered her grandfather coming to tell her mother about the accident and that was the last day she saw her mother dressed in anything other than black. It's hard to comprehend how so many lives could have been lost so close to the shore. But on a day like today, it's easy to see how the men must have struggled in the waters, in the darkness and in the confusion. Oh, well, yes, I heard one, and I don't know who he was, but he was, he was calling on his wife or something. My love, I'll never see you again. The scale of the Isle Air tragedy's impact on the island cannot be underestimated. For decades, it was never discussed. This new year will be different, with a series of events planned to mark the centenary of the island's darkest hour. Nicola McCalley, STV News. Remembering the Isle Air.